Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Stella. This is the uh, ultimate John boat, I like to dub it. Because it's done everything, man. You've done everything with this. If you've been a fan of the channel, it's just taking us everywhere. Okay, some of the most epic fishing trips have been on this boat. It's only 14 foot, powered by a 9.9 .9 American back. There it is, Tiller, Tiller handle. Anyways, uh, it's gone through a harsh life. All of its rivets, and I mean like, mostly all of its rivets are leaking, okay? It's how bad it is, you know? So before I uh, used the tools that I used, uh, I would spray Flex Seal. As you see all this black stuff, it's all Flex Seal. They did, it, they did this job for a little bit, you know, a little while, but I felt like every five or six trips I had to reflex seal my rivets, especially the ones that are like on the bottom like this, you know, and especially the ones on the bottom, as you can see, I mean, I got a lot of flex seal down here. It's kind of embarrassing showing you guys all this, but now I'm going to get some heat from the, the John Boat world, but hey, you know, it's cheap. Flex seal's cheap, man. But it peels off, as you can see. See, it's like peeling off like that. Now, regardless, finally, for the longest time, there was no video on how to fix these rivets. And I asked my friends, and they're kind of like, well, we'll just take a hammer and just hit it. And I'm like, you can't just hit it with our hammer. There's got to be something on the other end, right? So, a couple weeks ago, I started searching this topic a little bit more. I mean, I did this like five years ago. Nobody had nothing on it. And two weeks ago, I did a little bit something. Uh, a little research and the guys were like yeah you could take a air hammer i'm like oh that's a good idea well if you could take an air hammer then you, they should have the air hammer attachments for rivets all right so i searched that and i found it it was on ebay as you can see you just need a uh you need one that's got this cut see? got the cut piece so that it can hold on to the rivet i mean i know i bought the wrong size don't don't give me flack for that. Don't hate me for it, you know. But it's a little smaller than, than what we should have done, and it's not the exact same shape, okay? So to do this properly, you need the exact same shape. But I don't know what that shape is. And this is the Stella, which uh, is probably going to get retired at the end of the season anyway. So I just want something worked. I think I got these pieces off of eBay for like. 10 bucks something like that attach it to the air this is a cheap one too it's a generic cold bolt i think and i have the air power of course and on the other end like i so let me teach you guys how to do that so that's what it sounds like you basically do this and you hit it real hard all right but on the other end you gotta hold it with something you hold it down with something right so the other end see so you know, i want to take care of my boats that's how you know it's a legit John boat. You have to hold something here, something pretty heavy, so that when you hit it from the bottom, it the rivet squishes. So what I used, a lot of guys were using like some hammers and big like screws and bolts. Well, I don't have any of that stuff, but I do have this. This came from a car stand, okay? So I had my dad just hold it. I just had him hold it down like this. Yeah, kind of like that. Well, I hit it from the bottom, and I did, and it works really, really good. So, anyway, I did. I did like. I don't even remember. Uh, I did like maybe thirty rivets, and some rivets probably didn't need it, while others definitely need it. I mean, when you hit them, you can see them like move. Like if you can see the rivet move, or some of the rivets. It was so bad to the point where like you could already see like a gap between the rivet and the surface of the of the of that piece of metal. So that was pretty bad. So I hit up I hit up everything that was uh possibly below the waterline and all the other ones I kinda just left. I was like, yeah, it's uh, it's not worth playing with. It's not leaking anyways. But as you can see, you know I did I did most of the bottom of the boat. Most of it pretty crazy man aluminum job boats they're real cheap to buy but they're a pain in the ass uh, due to water leaking and that's the whole reason why I have a video on how to install a bilge pump 
that you should probably watch and <laughs> install in your boat too. Okay, so yeah. Hope that helps you guys out, man. Help me out big time. And I already did the uh, the work, you know. I can't show you guys how it exactly works, but basically, basically this is how it works. So imagine, imagine this green piece is your aluminum. And there's a rivet that goes across. I basically do this. Put it in. That's what I did. That's basically what I did. All right. Hope that helps you guys. I mean, I'm pretty confident it's not gonna leak no more. Pretty confident. I mean, before, I've had a couple of rivets where I could just hold the rivet and it almost would shake or twist by itself. So that's pretty bad. That's actually pretty scary. Now that I think about it, but you know, we've been on the lakes and we have a bilge pump and we pump it out every time we move. Okay, so. But now everything looks pretty good. I mean, well, I'd say it looked pretty good. I know it's pretty tight, but I got the kind of wrong sizes. So you can see there's like a circle on top of the rivet. But this ain't no beauty boat anyway, so who cares? You know, it's a fishing machine. It's a fishing machine. So anyways, uh, call me for my work and uh, hope that helps you guys on how to repair leaky rivets on your boat. Alright, see y'all on the next one. Sub to the channel if you haven't. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. See ya.